We are deeply privileged this evening to hear from two first-hand witnesses to the Uyghur genocide. We are honored to have with us tonight Ms. Gulbahar Haitawaje, an incredibly brave woman who spent two years in a Xinjiang camp. We are also privileged to be joined by Ms. Kelvinor Saduk, a human rights activist and witness to the genocide in Xinjiang. Ms. Saduk worked as a Chinese language teacher for, a primary, for primary school students before she was assigned to work as a teacher in the re-education camp. After seeing and experiencing atrocities firsthand, Ms. Saduk has become an extraordinary advocate for all those languishing under the thumb of the CCP. We have two guests whose stories will take us to the center of the universe, to the place where the world's moral attention should be focused, to Xinjiang. These two women were both inside the concentration camps. They are firsthand witnesses to the systemic, unimaginable brutality. Witnesses to the attempted elimination of a people, a culture, a civilization. Witnesses to the largest extrajudicial mass internment of a religious minority since the Holocaust. Witnesses to erasure. Mayli dars vaqtlar bo'lsin, tushlik oram ilish vaqtlar bo'lsin. Bu tutqun erlarning oldiga besilgan nomorlar orqali chaqirib, ajkitilib, so'raqlidi va so'raq jarayonida har xil qiyin qissalar olib borildi. Bu so'raq qilindigan joy sinibdan keyin yindagi yarasi bo'g'ashqa ular chaqirib chiqatgandan keyin ham 20 soatdan keyin ularning ichinishlik ovozlari butun binoni zizliq soladi. Tutqun qiz ayollarning chashlari butunlay tushirib etilgan Ustiga kul rang mahbus kiyimi kiygan, uning ustida opsil rangli jilitki va jilitkining ustida nomor besilgan. Ularni qiynashdan 4 xil usuli va, ya'ni elektronlik kaltak, elektronlik doppa, elektronlik palay va elektronlik tumir o'rindiq, ya'ni bu yo'lvas o'rin deb ataladi. Tehimi dehshat bog'ini bu qiz ayollar so'roq jarayonida Xitoy saqchilarining so'roq qilish orqali ularni bosqinchilik uchrab turdi, nöbatlish bosqinchilik qilish, hattoki qulidik elektronlik kaltaklar bilan shu qiz ayollarning jinsiy maqat yo'llariga qiynash aparildi, tiqish orqali. On March 9, 2017, I was sent to the um, concentration camp which is the, the picture shown in Saivar district, Urumchi for six months. Bu to'rt qavatlik binoning tomdan ustidan butunlay elektron to'qsimlar bilan qattiq qo'rish olgan. Tutqun arla tutqunlari mana mushundoq zanjirlangan va kishanlangan holda kamirlardagi tam bilan ishikniki tutqishi zanjirlangan ishikdan 30 gradus ichilgan o'mlab chiqadi siniblarga, sinibdan o'mlab kamir qaytadi. Like this the detains chained and also shackled. The, the cell doors is 30%, 30 degrees kind of open, so they are unable to stand and walk out and into the cell. So they had to crawl out from the cell and then they go to classrooms for re-education. Biyada biz kuniga 11 saatlab sinibda oturib, Xitoyningki bizning kallimizni yuydigan tarix, qonun va xansu tilda darslarni o'rganimiz, haftada bir qizil naqsha o'rganimiz, hafta oxirida bunda imtihon beradik. Her gün sınıf kırgı vaktimizde tamak yiyen yiyiştim burun partiye uluğ vatanımızı rahmet, Cungu Komünistik Partisi rahmet, Xi Jinping'e rahmet dedik. Dersin üçgen de tamak dinkiyin bu üçüge tülek dedik. Andın minun putumgu kişenini silip kamırga ekirip solu vetti. Bu yaydaki kamırdaki ayarlarının ahvali intayın içinişlik bütün ayarlarının putları kişenlengen Anatolimiz bo'g'an Uyg'ur tilida so'zlashimiz cheklangan. The first they shackled my feet and then they detained. The women's condition in the detention centers are horrible. The all women are shackled and our language of Uyghur will prohibit to speak. In order to with the name of taking us out from the cell and the, to see the fresh air but in reality they torture us on the 20 Celsius degrees. Ishkibon oyatdan jili 4-inchi ayning 1-inchi kuni biz barliq ayollarni karvat qilib zanjirlab qo'ydi. Men 20 kun zanjirlaylik tutdim. On 1st of April 2017, the all women detainees were chained onto the bed. I was chained to the bed for 20 days. I'm visiting the US Holocaust Memorial Museum. People often ask themselves, 
What would I have done had I been alive during the Holocaust? Let history guide us today so that we ask, now that I know what the Chinese government is doing to the Uyghurs, what will I do? This is our never again moment. Thank you, Chairman. What role does American capital play in subsidizing the ongoing genocide? And should tax advantage entities like pension funds or university endowments continue to enjoy that status if they are invested in, even if passively, companies that contribute to the genocide? Um, this, is, this is happening two ways. Um, the American people, uh, us consumers, continue to fuel this genocide through our purchase um, of the tainted products. We're talking about more than 80 global brands. At the same time, as you eloquently pointed out in the last hearing, that we are uh, investing in not only self-destruction, but also uh, fueling this uh, genocide, the ongoing genocide that is in its seventh year. Interestingly, in 2019, Chinese officials in Xinjiang stated that the forced internment centers were closed and that the detainees had all, quote unquote, graduated. Dr. Zenz, do these camps look closed to you? Um, we have a trend and we have some uh, witness accounts of Uyghurs being shifted from the re-education facilities both into forced labor and into higher security prison. And we can assume that hundreds of thousands have been shifted into these facilities which have been dramatically expanding. I want to thank all of our witnesses for their incredible testimony and the phenomenal. The least we can do on this committee is to make sure that in 50 years, when the Xinjiang genocide is remembered as one of the abominations of the 21st century, no corporate executive, no policymaker, no investor, no university president can look their grandchildren in the eye and claim they didn't know. I now recognize it spends on its own military. At the beginning of Xi Jinping's rule,